Welcome back, everyone. It's time for the networks to roll out a new crop of shows. So we've convened our mini TV panel to talk about what may be the hits and the misses of the midseason. John and I are here along with TV fan and, yes, my husband, Mike Dunn. Yes. So first, we're going to talk about the newest CBS comedy. It's called Rob. Mm -hmm. It stars Rob Schneider as a lifelong bachelor who marries into a tight-knit Mexican family. Let's check out this clip. So where should I put my stuff? No, come on, make yourself okay. at home. Anywhere you want. Ah, but not there. Okay. No, I, I just reorganized that closet, that's all. But anywhere else you want. Okay. So... Hi! Oh, Fernando, pay the cab driver. Oh, no, 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 no. This is Rob. Big family. <laughs> now I know what's going on during all those siestas. <laughs> You're all Catholic. <laughs> You don't, you don't use protection. Now, it's obviously got some star power. It's got SNL alum Rob Schneider mm -hmm. and, of course, Cheech Marin. So what do you guys think? Is it going to be a mid-season hit? We're going to ask John and then Mike. Well, what do first you think? of all, I have to say Cheech Marin, he does have some traction. He was on Nash Bridges, if you remember. Loved him on Nash show. Bridges. He was great on that. He's a good actor. This show is not really doing much for me, I have to say. That. I want to I wanna like it. I like Rob Schneider. I like Cheech Marin. It just looks like I've been there, done there seen this before like i've seen this show many a time what do you think mike i i think it speaks to the strength of cbs uh, his lineup right now that the only show they're putting on is rob and they had a contract to do that last year wow. and they didn't make it to the start of the season so they put it on a mid-season it's the only mid-season replacement that that cbs is doing as opposed to nbc wow. and abc nbc schedule was decimated so they're putting on lots of shows so if it time. fails it's not a big deal for cbs really <laughs> and they still have that david spade show that they keep putting on and they pull me. it off no no no, no, no that's that's NBC. That, that was yeah, nbc that's years, years ago, ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> last decade. The, uh, it's the same rules character of engagement. for David Spade. Yeah. Rules, rules of engagement. engagement. Yes. Yes. Oh, rules of well, David Spade is always David Spade. He's yeah. nothing yeah. but David Spade. That's All right. true. We have another show. We're going to talk true. about ABC's much anticipated new show. It's called The River. Oh, yeah. now, the director of Paranormal Activity and executive producer Steven Spielberg team up for this suspenseful drama. Check it out. There is magic out there. People always tell me that the reason they loved Emmett's show was because they wanted to be part of our own perfect little family. You get that? Yes, we got it. <laughs> we'll see you next week, I hope. Your father is not dead. They found his beacon yesterday after six months. Wow. So what do you think? We've seen a lot of these shows trying to be lost or some sort of real supernatural kind of show. Mike, what do you think? Has it got a shot there? ABC held off on this show because they thought it would do better at mid-season. But it stars Bruce Greenwood, who's never really had a successful TV show. Uh, Great was, character actor. Uh, mm -hmm. He was. He was terrific in St. Elsewhere when he right. replaced Mark Harmon uh, decades and decades ago. Yes. <laughs> uh, Even longer ago than just you. Then yes. Nowhere Man and Oddball were on Fox and uh, UPN, respectively. And, and he doesn't really carry a show. Uh, so it'll be up to Spielberg's name, but you know, Flash Forward was a show that didn't work. That, yeah, yeah, and and you know, Lost was unique, and I don't know if they can replicate that. And Leslie hopes in it too, and and yeah. she kind of comes across as brittle. Mike, I was just wondering, from your standpoint, I know you've watched a lot of TV. Does it seems like to me sometimes <laughs> we try to <laughs> push too much on a name like a Spielberg yes. or the guy who's involved in this movie or that, that movie? Paranormal activity. You know, it, shouldn't we be saying, let's look at this movie and see or the show and see if we like, as opposed to whether it's a Spielberg show? I, I think content is king, and you're seeing that on a lot of USA programs. Yes. Uh, they do really, really well, and they're owned by Universal, which is the parent company for NBC. And their USA shows are much more successful than the NBC scheduled shows. Yes. And in my opinion, they're, they're oftentimes a lot better. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. I think it's interesting, though, I mean, really segueing to what you said there about it, hooking things on the name. The fact that it's that paranormal activity, a very successful right. movie franchise. So are they thinking it's going to translate well to TV and will it? I guess well, is another question. Here's the two-word answer. Amazing stories. Okay. Great Spielberg thing, but yes. never it died in the ratings. Two years on NBC, decades yeah. and decades ago, boom, yes. gone, history, prom dress. Bye. There you go. Out of there. Boy, well, we're almost running out of time here. I want to mention that the premium cable channels are also getting into the mid-season action as well. Stars is rolling out the red carpet for Spartacus Vengeance this month. The Romans condemned my wife to slavery that took everything from me. And together we shall ignite an inferno. You are presented choice to submit forever to Roman cruelty or to take up arms and to join us in freedom. 
So is it going to make it? Yes, no. Yes, probably. It depends on how people feel about Andy Whitfield being replaced by Liam McIntyre because, of course, Whitfield died of cancer a year ago. Yeah. Got to mention right. Justified. Great show. That's Watch right. It. And it's coming Watch back. It. And so are the USA Cable shows. And you know what else is coming back? We Nick are. with his possum picks. <laughs> we'll be right back.